WTF. Come on. Two I think you're thinking about uh, WTTF. Welcome That's to, not what I was thinking. Fight. No, welcome <laughs> to the fight. Oh, okay. No, yeah. talk about the two interceptions and the, and the way you've you've always kind of had moments like that in the spring game, and then you kind of bounce back. Yeah, I was I was talking to some of the other quarterbacks on the sideline. I was like, it almost happens like clockwork every year. I practice well all spring, and then I'll come out in the spring game and throw two picks or throw a pick and just not practice very well. So I mean, um, I mean, that's just a testament to we're still learning, still learning, still got still got a ton of knowledge that I need to acquire before the season starts. And uh, Roper's helping me with that, and uh, Shed's helping me with that, and we're, we're getting better every day, so. What specifically does Roper have help you with? Um, just knowing what the defense is doing, like what assignments different positions have on the defense. Because, I mean, to a certain extent, I know our offense pretty well. But um, it was just the defense that I kind of needed to work on to know where the ball's supposed to go and when it's supposed to be out of my hands. I mean, it's a different voice. It's a different person you get to lean on and talk to. Is, yeah. I mean, how has that relationship evolved so far? Uh, it's, I mean, it's been great. I mean, just like me and Lingren, me and Roper like to have a good time. I mean, we laugh. It's not, it's not all business all the time. And everyone's super serious and hates coming into, coming into work. I mean, I think we all have a good time and we enjoy it, but we get better along the way as well. And we've, and we've, we've started, we've developed a relationship. Did you get more heat for the interceptions or for the dunk? I definitely got more heat for the interceptions by far. Because I mean, we on one of those picks, the one to to the the will, where the will is the backer when he sunk out on the hitch. Um, we kind of had talked about that a little bit in meetings this morning, and just kind of noticing front, noticing what those backers are going to do when the front changes. And so I mean, I still need to I still need to look for that before I just go throwing passes blind. So on, on the positive side, I mean, Lovisca threw a couple of touchdowns to him in the first one. You know, just a, a nice, a deep pass. You talk about him, and and I think he was the most improved receiver this spring. But just talk about him yeah. and, and how he's played this spring. Yeah, he did. Get, he, he got that award, the most improved receiver. Um, I mean, he's been playing well, but so have all the receivers. All the receivers have been playing well. We had a few drops today, but I mean, I don't, I don't think that really says much about a receiving core. I mean, they're they're a bunch of studs, to be honest, and they're they're deep, as you saw today. We have Tony Brown making huge plays. So I mean, we we've, we've got some dudes that can definitely, once we get it on the perimeter, they can make plays with it. How good is LaVisca in your mind compared to what you've had here in the past or what you have right now? We've had some good players. I mean, I think, I think that if he, if he can, keeps continuing to work and gets a few more years of experience, I mean, I think he'll definitely be an NFL guy. I don't think that's a question at all. How much different is the Ben Evans call the plays now? Um, I mean, I haven't really noticed because I just get out there and run the plays. I don't really think about who's calling it, who's not calling it, what inputs are going in. So. I kind of just uh, get the play that's called and, and run it. Do you like his kind of priority on up tempo and kind of aggressive play call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the tempo could definitely help us. Uh, it could, but we need to, with the tempo, we need to be converting first downs because, I mean, you, you go three quick plays and your defense gets no rest. So it's all going to uh, determine, or it's all going to be. I don't know. I don't know. Where that was. It's all. It's all going to depend on uh, the first downs that we pick up. You said you got more heat for the interceptions than the dunk. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like going into it, like Coach Mack is not going to be happy. With it. Yeah. No, I knew he wouldn't be happy with it. But um, before, before the practice, I was telling the quarterbacks jokingly because I didn't think that I was going to break a run like that. Was uh, if I. I said, don't let the defense let me get loose today, because if I get loose, I'm going to go dunk the goalpost. And the quarterbacks were like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, you're going to do it. And then right when I hit that sideline and I saw nothing but green, I was like, all right, this is your time. you got to put your money where your mouth is. So I went and did it. And thankfully, Coach Mack didn't lose it on me, because he easily could have. But I think we're, he understood that we were all just having fun out there, so we were having a good time. Overall, do you feel, I know there's three practices left, but do you feel like that you have had a good spring? Yeah, I think I definitely have, have improved this spring a lot. I mean, especially with just defensive reads and just knowing that part of the game, I think I've taken a step in the right direction, definitely. And then obviously, my throwing is going to keep getting better. The accuracy needs to keep getting better. And that's always something that we can work on. And then footwork is another thing that we've been working on a lot, which is getting better. So I think we definitely took a lot of steps in the right direction this spring. And as that's for all the quarterbacks, not just for me. You've had a lot of offensive linemen shuffling it out in front of you. Mm -hmm. Jake Moretti gets in there today. Um, what have you seen out of him? The Jake's, little bit you've Jake's seen a dog. out of him. Jake's a dog, like four legs and a tail dog. He's uh, he's gonna be something special for us, definitely up front. What what impression about him today? Uh, being out there, I think he 
you had a few series with you guys on the first he team. Just, he's, he's, he's very dominant. He just dominates. I remember watching him against uh, Javier Edwards, who's 360 pounds. I think Jake weighs like probably like maybe 280. And he pushed him off the ball, pushed him off the board. So, I mean, that, just that alone was very impressive. And, I mean, when he gets on the field, he's a mean dude. And you kind of want that from your old line. You don't want your old line to be soft. And I think he gives us definitely a nice, sharp edge. You have good running back depth right now, and then you're adding mm -hmm. the transfer in. I mean, do each of those guys bring something different for you when they're on the field? Do you, all five of them, four of them going to play, you think, next yeah. season? Um, I mean, whether they're going to play or not, that's not really up to me. That's up to Coach Mack at the end of the day. But, I mean, I think they all have the potential to play. I think they all have a lot of talent, and I think they could do good things for us in the fall. Anything else for Steven? Thank you, Steven. Shout out.